featured con student, where we sit down with the best and brightest in the Second City Conservatory program. This week we're meeting with Kyle Scott. Kyle, how does it feel to be this week's featured student? Well, people have always told me this show's like a poor man's inside the actor's studio, but I like to think of it as the homeless man's Regis and Kelly. <laughs> well, thanks. You're too kind. Really? I thought I was being hostile. Um, okay. Um, Kyle, how would you describe your improv style? Oh, well, in a nutshell, I like to think I'm drawing on a long history of comedy. But not just comedy. I'm like T.S. Eliot, mining a myriad of sources to burrow down to get to a deeper meaning. Or as Marcus Aurelius would say, Praetor summa suis sequi. Uh, huh. Okay. Uh, I guess what I was really trying to ask is, how do you get so many laughs when no one understands a word you say? Why would you assume no one gets what I'm saying? Surely your ignorance doesn't go across the board. You know, you're like Jack Cade, leading a revolution of the ignorant against the nobility of education. Or the critics who didn't know what to make of Stravinsky's Rites of Spring. <laughs> yeah, like that. I mean, that's hilarious, but I didn't understand a word of it. Did you understand any of that? Nope. I just pressed the button. And good on you, sir. I stand as the last bastion of civilization against the barbarian hordes. I feel like Leonidas at the hot gates of Thermopylae. Oh, Leonidas, that's the guy from 300, right? Oh, I love that movie. And then I like the part where he has a sword and he's all like, This is Sparta! Oh, God. He kicks the guy and falls and it's all I can't take this Snow. anymore. Whoa, At least I brought my own handbox. Crito, remember, we always seek me some room stick. Kyle? Kyle? Oh crap. I think he's dead. Do you think we can still feature him if he's dead? I don't see why not. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's a wrap then.